So we're going to start with messing up some travel speeds. I think a lot of newbies are a little timid and they don't necessarily see what they need to see and they want to make sure they get it cut so they go pretty slow. And you're going to see just a whole lot of puddling, like really a, a big puddle and, and you'll see that everything stays molten so much longer and you'll usually see it snap back together. It's probably going to make things for a much drossier cut. It's also slower. You're costing yourself time, gas, and you can move at a much higher rate of speed. So we're going to try to just cut super, super duper slow and see what this cut looks like. Definitely cutting, but it's just kind of blah. So a slower travel speed, not only is going to put more heat into the part, it's going to take you more time. And it always kind of leaves a little bit of a rounded edge at the top here. That top edge right next to those flames just stays so hot. And I'm actually surprised we didn't get as much dross on there as I thought we would get. But we can cut at a much higher rate of speed because we have the proper settings, we have the proper tip. Everything's ready to go. Now what happens if we cut too fast? This plate's already warm, we don't need a preheat. Obviously we're not going to cut if we try to do things too early. See all that splashing and all that kicking back out of that cut? That's trying to jump in too fast. Now if I'm in it, I'm already in that cut and I start getting too fast with my travel speed, obviously it's gonna kick me out of that cut. You're really looking for that highest rate of travel speed just like we saw on our plasma cutting video of how we can get a dross free cut with our plasma torch. It's the same concept. So we see we're starting off slow, then we're gonna increase that travel speed. You can see that the heat input is less now. Now we're gonna be going a little too fast. Dang, we were able to go really fast there at the end, but I don't think that we got through it. You gotta be patient with this process. And obviously if you cut way too quick, you're not gonna get all the way through. You're gonna make more of a mess. If we flip this over, you can see there's a lot more crap, a lot more dross on the back side of this plate. All that stuff is just from not having a proper travel speed. This is going to pose a huge problem too. Not, not that we were in a hurry trying to move fast. It's the fact that now we have to start over. We have to cut through that again or try to get to it or recut it. And then usually if you're just hacking and hacking on a piece of steel, then you really make a mess of things. Proper travel speed is super important. 